This is page 56 in our notes. Today my colors are blue and black. The standard that we are continuing to work on is EE6. Um, EE6 is solving multiplication and division algebraic equations. Multiplication and division algebraic equations. So um, if you remember algebraic, that means they have variables. Equations mean they have to have an equal sign. Um, just like addition and subtraction, we did the inverse operation or the opposite. You do the same thing with multiplication and division. So I'm going to write the example in black, and then when I change the problem, I will use blue. The first example that I'm going to do is 4 next to an n, which means 4 times n equals 68. Just like with addition and subtraction, we draw a line down the equal sign. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, like the left, we have to do to the right. So when we're trying to solve for n and get n by itself, we need to get rid of the 4 times n. How do I know this means times? Because they're next to each other. So I see times, so I need to do the opposite, which is dividing. You need to divide by 4. Instead of times by 4, we're going to divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 actually gives me 1n. 1 times n is just n, which is great. We want to get n by itself. So we did that by dividing by 4. When we divide by 4, it essentially cancels out the 4s, which gets n by itself. If we divide by 4 on this side, then we need to take 68 and divide by 4 on this side. When I take 68 and divide by 4, that gives me 17. You may need to use a calculator here. 68 plug it in, divide by 4 gives me 17. So how can I check to make sure this works? I'm going to put 17 in here for n, and so I'm going to check does 4 times 17 give me 68. So my check, 4 times 17 equals 68, and you put a check. That is correct. I want to do another example here. I'm going to write uh, the example in black, and then I'm going to show what I am doing to the problem in blue. The example that I am doing is 0 0.8 next to a p, which means times p, needs to equal 32. So I'm going to draw a line down the equal sign. I need to solve for p to figure out what p is going to equal. So when I take 0 times 8 times p, I get 32. So in order to get p by itself, instead of timesing by 0 0.8, I divide by 0 0.8. Um, 0.8 divided by 0.8 really just gives me 1 p. 1 times p is just p, which is good. We want to solve and get p by itself. Since this kind of cancels on this side, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So you're going to take 32 and divide by 0 0.8, and when you do that, you get 40 for p. So if p equals 40, does that make that true? Does 0 0.8 times 40 equal 32? You could check. 0 0.8 times 40 is going to equal 32. Yes, it does. So P would have to equal 40 to make that true. My next example, I'm going to give you another one, move this up, is uh, 9x equals 36. I would like you to try this. 9 next to an x means times, so we're going to draw a line down the equal sign. The opposite of multiplying is dividing, so you divide by 9. We're trying to get rid of the times 9, so we divide by 9. That cancels out, so we get x by itself, which is what we want. If you divide by 9 over here, you need to divide by 9 over here. That's how you keep the equation balanced. 36 divided by 9 is 4. x is going to equal 4. Does that work when I put 4 back in here to my original equation? Does 9 times 4 give me 36? 9 times 4 equals 36. There's my check. That's how I know this is true. I would like to give you another problem to solve. I'm going to use black. The example is 10y equals 27. So 10 times y equals 27. So what is y going to equal? Draw a line down the equal sign. I need to get y by itself. How do I get rid of a 10 times y? You do the opposite of timesing. We, we um, divide by 10. 
10 divided by 10 is is 1. 1y one gives, gives me y. If I divide by 10 here, then I just divide by 10 here. y is going to equal 2.7. How can I check to make sure that's right? Does 10 times 2.7 equal 27? Yes, it does. You can check that on the calculator. That 20, uh, that 2.7 is what I plug back in here for y. So those are all showing multiplication, and I solved by dividing. I did the inverse operation, which was dividing. What if you see a division sign? How do I solve? You'll solve by multiplying. So here's the first example I have. Um, for division, I have n divided by 5 equals 40. So I need to figure out what n is going to be. So I draw a line down the equal sign. I need to get n by itself. So how do I get rid of a divide by 5? I actually multiply by 5. Um, doing the opposite or the inverse operation cancels out the 5, which is great. That gives me n by itself, which is what I wanted. If I times by 5 on this side, then I need to times by 5 over here. 40 times 5 is 200 n is going to equal 200. Does this work if I check this? If I put 200 up here for n and I divide by 5, am I going to get 40? 200 divided by 5 does equal 40 when I check it on my calculator. The next example that I have, I'm going to write it in black. The next example is y divided by 6.4 equals 8. So I need to get y by itself in order to solve y. I need to get rid of the divide 6.4, so I multiply by 6.4. That's the opposite of dividing, which is going to cancel this out, which is perfect. I want to get rid of it so that I get y by itself. If I multiply by 6.4 on this side of the equation, I have to multiply by 6.4 on this side. And 8 times 6.4 gives me 51.2 on my calculator. How can I check to make sure this is true? If I put 51.2 for y in this equation, does 51.2, when I divide it by 6.4, I should get the answer of 8, and it works when I check it on my calculator. That's how I know I am correct. So far, so good. Um, we talked about this with adding and subtracting. Whenever you have a negative variable, you have to keep it positive by adding it to the other side. Now I want to talk about what happens if we see a divided by and then you see the variable okay it's kind of like a negative you know if I if I cover up the division sign it looks like a negative variable so uh, when I see a dividing variable this is important so I'm going to put some stars here in our notes we're going to multiply by the variable whatever you do to one side you have to do to the other if we see a divide by variable we have to multiply by the variable Okay, so if my example is if I see a divide by b, then I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by b. So divide by b, multiplying by b, those are kind of like the inverse operations. So what do I mean by, by this example here? Let me show you with black. I'm going to write the example here. The example is 20 divided by y equals 5. So this is where I ins you see the divide by variable. This is kind of like saying I see a negative variable. If I cover up the dots, do you see it looks like a negative y? So in order to keep this positive, first off, I'm going to draw a line down the equal sign. If I see a divide by variable, I'm going to get rid of that negative by doing the opposite of division, which is multiplying by y. That's going to cancel it out on this side. If I multiply by y on this side, then I have to multiply by y over here. So 5 times y, what's a way to write it? It looks like 5 next to a y. That's 5 times y. I've multiplied here. It cancels out. I've now put it over here. So if you look at this problem, and if I bring everything down, I actually have 20 on the left, and then I have 5 times y on the right. So can I get y by itself? Sure. How do I get rid of a times 5? I divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 cancels, which gives me y by itself, which is what I want. If I divide by 5 on the right, then I have to divide by 5 on the left. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So it's kind of like a two-step problem here. I had an, I have a, a divide by variable, or I call this a negative variable, so I keep it positive by multiplying it to the other side. In order to get y by itself, I have to get rid of the times 5 
by dividing by 5. And so if I divide by 5 here, I divide by 5 there. So I've actually moved the variable to the right and then moved this number to the left. And you solve by doing the inverse. Is this true? If y is going to equal 4, would this make sense? 20 divided by, if I put a 4 in there from the original equation, will that give me 5? Yes, it does. That's how I can check. So a way to remember this type of problem is, put a star here, we are actually going to keep the variable, I'm going to call it positive, by multiplying by the variable. So this is kind of important in our notes, so I'm going to put some stars here. Kind of like with um, subtracting the variable, we added it to the other side. If you're dividing by a variable, you're going to multiply it to the other side. So the homework that you have is a worksheet. It says 2-7. Uh, you are going to do all and check with a calculator.